In this one, we're going to talk about Search Console. So what is it? It is a way to manage how your site appears in the search results. It doesn't allow you to like rank number one or anything, but there are some benefits that I just can't get into for the sake of time. But in general, it's a good idea. First, because you can link Search Console and AdWords. Two, we saw in the YouTube section that we can link YouTube and Search Console. So we can get some benefits here. Who should link it? Basically anyone who's a business owner that does delegation, SEO specialists, website administrators. The long story short is just do it now because you might not know benefits that are beneficial later and you don't want to regret not doing it. So let's get started. Let me tell you what I did to prepare for this. I deleted the analytics profile. I deleted the tag manager. So I don't have a pro simply property or anything. And if we look, I'm going to refresh here. There are no tags found on my website. There are several verification methods. So the way this works is you have to verify your website. We'll see that here soon. So what you want to do is go to your home page, copy that exactly as it is. Paste it in here. Click Add Property. Notice what it did here. Ownership Auto Verified. That is probably because I had Google Tag Manager set up to Pro Simply in the past. Let's click Go to Property. We can actually find out what happened here. We open that sidebar. We click Settings. You are a verified owner, but how? Verification method used, Google Tag Manager. Successfully verified. So additional verification methods I really want to go through. We can see here that these are the methods that you could use. You can download this file and upload it to your server where your home page is. But the problem with this method is you have to keep that file there. You cannot remove it, otherwise you will lose website verification. This is my favorite method. You copy this meta tag, just like we've seen in the editor here. You would just go to your head tag that we we are more than familiar with at this point, and you would just enter it somewhere within the head tag. Doesn't have to be the first thing, you know. Uh, it could be anywhere in the head tag. Something like that would work. We're not going to do that though. You can use Google Analytics. So again, you must be using that gtag.js. We saw that that appeared when we just manually copied the Google Analytics code. And then we would do something inside the head tag again, have edit permissions to do that. And then you verify. Click this button. Lastly, um, domain name provider. If you're an experienced admin, you probably are familiar with DNS settings. That's really technical. That's probably outside the scope of most people that are taking this course. So we're not going to cover that. So that's it. Once we have our Google Search Console set up, we're done with this step. So let's move on.